Um, all right, girlfriend will leave me if I don't get a normal job. Okay. Hey, Billy Ballbag, uh, I love your show, and I know you don't like compliments, so I'll just cut to the chase. Thank you. I'm an 18-year-old redheaded dude just like yourself. I've been dating my girlfriend for the last two months, two and a half years, sorry. It's been going great. We very much enjoy each other's company and have some of the same interests. But here is the problem. I'm trying to become a comedian. I don't want to get on stage as I want to get on stage as soon as I can to make a career out of it. That means I don't want to go to college and get a desk job. I've told my girlfriend that I, I will still work my ass off to help pay the bills when we eventually move in together. Dude, these are some deep conversations for 18. She doesn't see comedy as a good job for her spouse to have. I've told her I'm already trying to get my name out there by starting a podcast, but she sees it as a temporary thing. She's threatened to leave me if I don't go to college and get a degree in some bullshit that I don't want to do. Uh, I don't know what to say to her. I love her so much, but I don't want to give up my dream. Any advice is helpful. Thanks and go fuck yourself. Yeah, dude, you need to dump her. If she doesn't come around, this is what, this is what you, you don't need to dump her. You just say, say, listen, I'm doing this. This is my dream. And I want to be with somebody that is going to support my dream. I'm going to support your dreams. Okay. But your dream can't be that my dream doesn't come true. Okay. That's like with the genie wishes. You can't wish for more wishes, right? It's like, if your dream is to become a nurse, I will support you doing that. First of all, dude, this is way too serious a fucking relationship to be in at 18 years of age. What is it, the 1700s? You're going to die when you're 30? Um, this is what you, you want to fucking make it as a comic? You fucking go be a comedian. And you don't let anybody tell you you can't fucking do it. And you, don't, you know, you learn from people, you keep your ears open, you be, uh, you know, nice to people and everything. But the second you get somebody coming at you, trying to take, you know, trying to take that light out of you, you just shut it down, dude. You shut it down. And this is a great fucking experience for you to have at this age because I didn't figure this shit out till I was about 10 years older than you. And now I literally, I don't have anybody in my life like that now. And like, if I even sense that around me, like I almost break out in hives. I just get like, I don't, I don't like literally walk away from them, but I just go in my head. I just go, I am, I, this, this is just bounce. It just bounces off me. I'm not listening to any of this shit. And, uh, yeah, if you try to sell me on fear, I'm not listening to you. Sell me on logic, okay? As long as what I'm doing is rational. Like, if my dream was to become the best hitman the CIA has ever had, then, like, you know, I can see you trying to talk. Hey, you know, you're going to have to fucking bet you when you get older, even if it was good for the country. You might see that a few of them maybe, you know, you probably should, you know. You know, you're just going to go tell jokes. So if you really love her and everything and she really loves you, you'll be able to work it out. But I would just say, I would just say this to her, just say, listen, this is my dream and I'm going to do this. And if this is going to work, I need you to support me. You got to support my dream. I'm not asking you to, to work all day why I don't have a job. And, um, and this is the thing, dude, if she walks away, right, who gives a fuck? then she wasn't the one for you. You're only 18 years of age. And dude, you could become a fucking comedian. You could start selling tickets. I mean, dude, I went to summer school, like fucking, I should have gone every year, but I had a cool teacher my sophomore year and senior year, what was the point? I said, fuck it. And I still made, okay? And I'm making way better a living than I would have if I did some of the other jobs I thought of doing. So, I mean, you're going... I mean, anytime you're going after your dream, I mean, that's just like, that's, no one should ever take that from you, dude. Don't let anybody ever do that, okay? And that's a really, um, she's only, if she's your age, I mean, whatever. I mean, you guys are still kids, so she doesn't know any better, and I don't know what. But um, I got to be honest, I can forgive that at 18, but like, there's only like, I don't know. If somebody's still saying that shit, by 24, if you're saying that, male or female, you're a cunt. And you need, you need to be shown the door. All right? 
But you guys are just kids. So, dude, you go do your fucking stand-up, and you don't let anybody stop you, all right? And, you know, it's going to be an amazing, amazing journey. I had such an amazing time, and there's a bunch of fucking hills you got to climb and all this stuff, then that gives you all your stories that builds your character and all of that. But I'll tell you, climbing those hills, the last fucking thing you need is someone hanging on your leg trying to drag you back down it. So have your conversation, all right? And if she breaks up with you, go watch The Bronx Tale. And you know that everybody gets three great women, all right? So you still got two more coming. And you just make sure the next one, or the one after that supports your dream, or they can all hit the fucking bricks. That's what I say. All right.